forest fires and their effects on the environment. So you're wondering what is a forest fire or a wildfire? Forest fires are fires that occur in nature and are typically small or large in scale. They are usually uncontrollable by one firefighting unit and can last days or even weeks. So um, when I say that they're large in scale, I mean that they can be uh, hundreds of thousands of hectares wide. Um, I'm sorry, span hundreds of thousands of hectares. Or they can just span about, I don't know, several hundred meters if they're uh, controlled quickly enough. Um, they do occur in forests, but they also occur in shrublands and grasslands. So the reason why forest fires are so rampant, uh, I'm sorry, the reason why forest fires are so um, abundant is because trees contain the same compound as gasoline. It acts as a great fuel source for fire. Um, and this is why before we had gas stoves and electric stoves, we used to have wood burning stoves. And uh, fire requires heat, oxygen, and fuel uh, to go on. And when you take out one of these variables, um, fire cannot exist. So just to give you an idea, the best condition for a fire would be a very dry atmosphere full of, um, which has zero humidity, lots of heat, and lots of dry wood. If it were raining or if it were really humid, um, the fire would have a harder time um, surviving and if it was not that windy. Wind, wind is a great thing for fire. So what are the causes of forest fires? Well, typically about 85 to 90% of fires are created by man. Um, and it's sometimes accidental, well most of the time it's accidental, um, by either embers from campfires, um, people putting out cigarette butts, um, not putting out cigarette butts properly, or by arson. Some stupid people just think it's funny to burn down um, thousands of hectares of land. Um, but on the other hand, there are prescribed burns, and I will talk about the benefits of those um, later. But the natural causes of forest fires are, of course, lightning, very hot and dry conditions, um, powerful rays from the sun, or what can also be something that causes forest fires is lava from volcanoes. But that is, it's not very common. So some of the positive effects of forest fires are that it gets rid of invasive and non-native species in an area. Um, for those people who live in Toronto, um, there is a place called High Park and they have prescribed burns every year just to get rid of the um, non-native species. And if you'd like to check more of that out, you can go on their website and uh, you can go visit and see how the fire has affected um, the land. What, also, what it also does is it stimulates the flowering and fruiting of many plants. The resultant ash um, from the fire is great. Um, they love all the nutrients and minerals that are inside of the soil and it just renews everything. It's like a new start. Um, of course these forest fires kill pests and diseases. Um, there is the pine beetle that's been eating a lot of the forest in British Columbia here in Canada. And uh, I'm sure that some of the forest fire was very beneficial to getting rid of them. Um, they're a huge pest and they've taken down a lot of the forest. Um, and also, um, when people do prescribe burns, it also is great to prevent larger forest fires from occurring because it kind of gets rid of the dry wood and ash that would be really great for um, forest fires to breed on. And um, so firefighters, they either do this before or very, very shortly before a fire event is about to occur. And of course, there are negative effects of forest fire. Um, it does threaten people's homes and livelihoods. Um, it threatens plant and animal species that are not yet adapted to the fire um, or haven't evolved any sort of adaptations to help it survive, um, even if it were to burn down. And of course, it does affect the air quality and has some social and economic um, 
problems that are associated with it. And you're wondering how does climate change affect forest fires? Well, simply put, um, if you don't have as much rain falling and you have higher temperatures, it is a great environment for them to spread. Um, winter snowpacks are melting earlier, um, and this might not be good. It might be the wrong timing and um, doesn't help with the natural fires that do occur. And these forests are drier for longer, they're a better fuel source, um, fires are able to go on for longer and longer, and this is why Northern California has been so stuck with all these fires because they have been experiencing a lot of drought. Um, but yeah, so I hope that this um, video was informative and you guys learned something and if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and please remember to like and subscribe.